If you want to start creating talking head videos that can help grow your influence online, you think you've got a rough idea of how you're going to record it, but the idea of editing just completely stresses you out. Maybe you're actually procrastinating starting for that very reason because you don't know how to edit. Well, I'm going to give you a clear roadmap of the actual editing tactics you need to know for a talking head video. And I'm going to show you how to do everything super easily with the best web-based video editor. Now, if you're looking to become Mr. Beast, with all of these cool transitions and camera angles and effects, you're gonna need to use an advanced video editing software like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. That being said, this is not the tutorial for you. In this video, I'm going to outline the seven foundational steps of editing a talking head video like this one, so that by the end of it, you're gonna feel confident enough to start editing your own content. Sound good? Let's get started. So this is the raw footage that I recorded for my talking head video. Let's turn this into something that people actually want to watch together. So the first thing that I'm going to do is upload my footage to a website called Riverside. So this is Riverside. You can create a new account. You can even start for free. I'm just going to log in right here. So this is what you'll see when you log in. You'll need to create a new studio for your category of videos. So let's say talking head videos. You would press this plus button. Name the studio. So let's say talking head videos. Select create. And then here you can upload any footage that you'd like to use the editor for. So you can upload your raw talking head footage. You can also record your talking head footage directly on the platform using this record button. You'll be able to get a high quality recording ready to download or edit afterwards. But for this workflow, we're just gonna upload our previously recorded video. So I've already done that in my YouTube video studio. You'll see I have two talking head videos that I uploaded the other day. So on the one that I'd like to edit, I'm going to hover over the thumbnail and select edit. This is going to bring me into the Riverside editor, which is where you can edit a basic talking head video. So in this video, we're going to go over seven things that you need to do in order to take raw talking head footage and make it into something that people actually want to watch. So step one is to remove any mistakes that you made. If you're recording talking head video, you'll know there are gonna be a lot of mistakes. So fortunately with the Riverside editor, everything is actually transcribed and you can edit your video simply by editing the text within this transcription. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go through this video and I'm gonna delete out of the transcript any parts that I want deleted out of the final video. So you can see at the top here, I call my cat Tico. I'm just gonna highlight over that in the transcript and press delete on my keyboard and that section is deleted out of the final video. So I'm actually gonna go through the whole transcript and delete any mistakes that I made when recording this video. So you can see I restarted, so I'm going to cut that out. Okay, so it looks like I restart completely again here. So I'm just gonna delete the whole introduction. So now let's go through and delete anything we want deleted out of the transcript. 20 minutes later. All right, phase one complete. I have gone through and deleted any mistakes from my video using the transcript. Step two is to remove any silences. So I look at a teleprompter when I'm recording these scripts. So sometimes I talk a bit too fast for the teleprompter and I kind of have to wait for the teleprompter to get to the right part again. And then I start speaking again. So there are a lot of silences throughout my video. You can see wherever there are three dots or two dots. That's actually a pause. And I wanna take those out because we want the video to be more fast paced. So I'm gonna head up to AI producer and I'm gonna go to this set pace feature. Now you can take out all of your pauses by sliding the slider all the way to super fast. And you can take out a balanced amount of pauses and it's actually gonna tell you what setting is best for what. So I'm gonna take out any pauses that are more than one second. You'll see here, it'll tell me how many pauses I'm gonna remove. Two minutes and 22 seconds of pauses. Let's take those out. So you just press apply. And now you'll see along the timeline here, all of those pauses have been taken out of the final video. Wherever I'm highlighting over, that part has been erased. So the video is much more snappy now. Step three is to remove filler words. So I'm not gonna have any in this video because I was reading off of a teleprompter, but if you're editing a video where you're just talking the camera and you're kind of speaking off the cuff, that's when those filler words come in, like um and ah uh and like. You wanna delete those so that your video is more fast paced and that you sound more confident in what you're speaking about. Super easy to do. You would just head to AI producer and then if you have filler words throughout your recording, you will have the option to apply smooth speech here, which will remove any filler words and unwanted sounds in one click. 
super easy. Step four is to add an introduction. Maybe you already have a video introduction that you use in all of your content. Wherever you'd like to add your introduction in the episode, just navigate in the transcript. And if you hover underneath the line where you'd like to add the introduction, you'll see a plus button appear. When you select it, you'll have a lot of options. So you can add past recordings in, past edits in. So we're gonna go into uploads. And here you would upload your introduction video. So I already have one uploaded right here. I'm just gonna select it. And that will be added into the video exactly where I want it to be. But maybe you don't have an introduction video and you just wanna add a simple title sequence to introduce your video. So wherever you'd like to add that title screen, select the plus button in the transcript again and select empty section. This is just gonna give you a blank canvas that you can work with to design something. So I'm gonna select that canvas and I'm going to head to text. You can choose any of these styles that you'd like and you can add maybe what your video is called here. And then you can play around with like the sizing, the colors, even the fonts, and you can move the text around on the screen. Now, maybe you wanna add a background to this. You would select the background of the canvas, head to brand, background, and you can add a specific color or you can add an image where you can upload your own image or you can use one of the ones that Riverside provides. Now, when you do add text, you can adjust the duration of the text. You'll see it right here with this little font icon. And then you can slide and change the duration of the text so it only takes up the part of the video that you want it to take up. Now, you'll see that the background that we used actually turns into a frame around the rest of your video, which is really cool to keep that branding consistency. Now, let's say you wanted to add a little jingle underneath. You can head to music and you can upload your own jingle or you can use one of the various royalty-free jingles that Riverside provides. So I'm just gonna select this one and that will be inserted right underneath my title slide. You can adjust the duration of it. You can move it around on the timeline. All right, step five, this is a big one. This is when you're gonna add assets throughout your videos. So this is when you're gonna go through the video and think of additional assets that can reinforce points that you're saying. If you wanna add something into the video, like a screen share or a clip from a movie, so you would have to upload that specific section to Riverside using the upload feature that we talked about. And then we're gonna to navigate to wherever you'd like to put that extra asset into the video. Select the plus button, head to recordings, and then navigate to external uploads. And then anything that you've uploaded to your Riverside account will show up here and you can insert it directly into your video. Now, maybe you wanna add overlays. Maybe you're talking about the best podcast microphone. An image of it could pop up beside you so that the viewer can get a visual of what you're talking about. So to add an image throughout your video, you would head to images and then you can browse all of the royalty free images here and you can use them in your content, no problem. Or you can upload your own image. So let's say I'm talking about a podcast microphone in this scene. I could add an image of the microphone. Now, something that's actually really important to think about when you're filming and when you're designing your set is to have some blank space around you so you can put additional assets without it being distracting. So for example, you can see in the set that I have in the video that I'm editing, I have a blank space right here that I can easily just put either like text or images. Same within this set, I can easily put text or images right here. And that just makes the final composition of your frame look a lot cleaner. So you can adjust the sizing of the image. You can also adjust the opacity of the image. You can even mask it to be a different shape. Maybe we just wanna do that, that looks nice. You can also select full video and then that image will take up the full screen of your video. Now you would head down to the timeline. If you zoom in with this zoom tool, you'll see the image has been placed above your video on the timeline. So you can move this around to whatever spot you'd like it to take up. You can adjust the duration right like this. And then that image will only pop up when you're talking about it. Much easier. Same goes in this set. I can put things right here. By having a distraction. Now, another form of asset that you can do on top of your talking head videos to make it more engaging is add text. So you could add text that emphasizes a point that you're saying. So saying the exact same thing, but in text, you can add text that complements what you're saying. So adding additional information. You can also add text that just says something funny or informative. So let's go right here. Let's see what I talk about. So I say, now tell me if this video was just this, me talking to the camera, it would be pretty boring, right? Let's head to text. Let's choose whatever I'd like. And let's put, this is boring, right? And now I'm gonna edit that text. So it's a different font. 
Maybe I'd like just a bit of a shadow so you can see it, make it a bit smaller. And I'm going to put it right up here so that it pops up when I say, like, this is boring, right? Now tell me, if this video was just this, me talking to the camera, it would be pretty boring, right? So then if I want that piece of text to go away right after I say it, I would select it on the timeline and adjust the duration to take up just that part of me speaking. So now is the time when you would go throughout your video with a fine tooth comb, frame by frame, and add additional content in, additional images and additional text to help keep your viewer engaged throughout the video. Now step six, this is optional. If you wanna add captions to your video, this is gonna really help pull the viewer along. Now, if you use Riverside, your captions are already created based on the transcript. So you would just head to captions, you can select any of these options. Then you'll see a menu that shows up here where you can edit things like your style, your font, the size of your captions. You can change how many lines it is. So maybe you want it to just be like one word at a time, which will make it super snappy and engaging. You can also change the animation style, the color to match your brand colors. And you can even save the captions that you make as a preset. So next time you're making a talking head video, you can just go to your captions presets and add your formatted captions in. Now, when you're done editing your video, you're gonna head up to export and you can export this video in up to 4K, but that does depend on the quality that you recorded the video in. So if you recorded it in 4K, you can export in 4K. If you recorded it in 1080, you can export in 1080. So I'm gonna select export video and then go to exports. And on this page here, you will see your edit exporting. When it's been exported, you'll get a pop-up and you can go into that export, you can preview it back and you can download it directly to your computer. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? With a user-friendly editor that really only gives you the tools that you need, it makes the whole editing process seem a lot more simple. So go give it a try. I will leave a link to try out Riverside in the description of this video. And if you are just getting started with video editing, there are some critical things that you should understand beforehand, like organizing and storing large files, filming properly and how to choose your software. I'm gonna link a video right here for you to watch next, where I will walk you through the five things that you need to know before getting started. I'm also going to leave a playlist of videos here to help you get to know Riverside. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you wanna hang out again, consider hitting subscribe and sticking around. I will be here every single week so we can hang out again. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button to let me know. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and I will see you next week.